Hey guys, Sponge Murphy here. So this week's uh, new releases from Games Workshop is fortunately for me more scave and stuff. Uh, a bit more unfortunate for my wallet. Uh, well not this week anyway. Uh, uh, since I got the Vermin Lord, that's just gonna have to haul me over for a while. So um, this week we have the Storm Fiends, uh, the new Gracer model, and the Skaven Warlord model. So I'm gonna split this into two parts. And the first part is just gonna be about the Storm Fiends. Uh, it's a new three man unit uh, of Rad Ogres which are pretty much armoured and kitted out to the max. Um, a lot of talk of these, a lot of people don't like them because um, they pretty much look a lot like uh, the Space Marine Centaurians. And for any kind of fantasy player that's like a real kick in the teeth. But um, And I wasn't too mad at them at the start. Um, you know, they do look a bit which strains for fantasy but just the, the grew on me um, like there's a few things I like a few things I don't like but it's something different you know it's only like one uh, unit that's kind of kitted out like this for the army you know so I just kind of take it as it is really um, I like I, I like them now I think they're pretty cool um, and the rules leaks the leak for the rules they're pretty much meant to be really really strong which is really good. Um, so uh, let's just have a quick look at the fluff down here. So obviously they're from Clan Mauler. Um, Starfield's Hugging Brutes. Um, yeah, so it's a multi-part plastic kit. And I was just, like, I don't know too much about them. I did look through the pictures here and there is a lot of options for weapons. Like this guy has like three big rail guns type of things. Um, this guy... I know one of them is like a tunneler, like a digger guy has weapons and that looks like the copy this guy. Um kinda of like a warp fire type of weapon on this guy. So um let's have a look at there's a lot of uh, individual pictures of you know singular models with uh different the different weapons on them. So uh Oh and I did look at this and the one thing I did forget, I'm not sure if this is on all of them or if it's just on one. But on the back of this guy, there's like a little alien rat guy. So we're gonna there he is there, which is pretty. Uh, I didn't know what to say at the start. I was like, oh, it's pretty sick, but it's pretty awesome. It's it's really out there. It's really kind of more sci-fi than fantasy looking, but uh, apparently it's like specifically bred, you know, for the rat orgs for these guys. But um. You know, it's really cool. It's a really nice little bit for the model. Even if we don't use it, I'm sure people will find something for this in their army. Like, use that little uh, brand scaven guy. Um, and this zoom in bit is really big. It's really nice. So we get a better look at his gun here. Or his weapon. Uh, it's pretty much as it exactly looks like a uh, rat ogre. Just with more kind of mechanics on him. You have the tubes coming out for the weapons. Um, the metal leg down here in the bottom. If we can turn them around. Nothing too obvious on the sides I can that I can see anyway. Um you know you get the big there we go. You get the big shoulder pad on him. Um the straps holding up the armor plates around his waist and on his arms. So I uh, had the big long tail as well. And you get a good look at the weapons here. There's probably like the bullets, the weapon, or the bullets that it fires out. Um, I should know what they're called. I can't think. I should really have looked them up. Um, but that's for the first guy. Anyway, let's have a look. The rest of them are just normal view. That's the only 360 view. So, um, I was stuck. It was either this guy or this guy could be the Tunnel fella. You know, these things, the Centaurians have something like that. And they're like a tunnel type of weapon, so it's either one or the other of these, but um really nice looking weapons. Really obviously like warp stone powered. You can see a lot of green on it coming through the big massive chest armor piece on this guy. Um so this must be like the tunnel guy type of fella. He's really head to tall covered in armored 
covered in armor. All you can see is like his two in his eye. And the warps on powering it in the back. And just like his foot standing on a bit of a stone thing. Bit of an archway thing. Um let's have a look at this guy. That's the first guy we were looking at in the 360 view. Um, what's this one then? Now this guy, wait, according to the rules, this guy sounds pretty mental. The only thing I don't like about this guy is the, the gun in the chest. It's a bit... It looks a bit out of place. It looks a bit funny. But like the guns on the arms are pretty awesome. Um, really... Looks like they could do a lot of power, and they're probably like the same as that rattling gun, I think it's called. Or it's like 2d6, or you just keep rolling until you hit doubles, it keep shooting like mad. And there's kind of like a little steam, um, there's like a steam power warp stone thing generating the power to go through it. Um, and then, like, of course, you have like your normal kind of rattle or stuff, you know, like big muscly legs with the stitches going through it and everything, the big muscly arms, you know. Um, then what's this guy? This guy looks like a warp fire thrower type of guy. Once again, you can see like the power cables coming through his back with a heavy, big massive heavy helmet. It looks like covering his face. Um, again, you have the big shoulder pad. The whole kind of half, second half of the arm is like covered in armor. Well covered. A little bit of scenic terrain there, just to put what the foot is on, which you might have missed in the last one. And the mechanical kind of leg as well from the knee down what it looks like and then the last two pictures you see is is that armor much different from the other one uh, what's the guy I'm looking for this guy yeah. and it's pretty much nearly the same except on the top of his kind of shoulders move it up you have these little kind of propeller blade things that look like um, and the warps the huns on the shoulders which is pretty awesome um, and then you have your Evan American on the chest a lot of armor on this guy really covered head to toe you have like the belly plate the only thing they've seen on this guy is like his legs and a bit of his arms and uh, once again he the big heavy helmet as well and you have these kind of like boulder things with spikes on them to um, Maybe this guy could be the digger fella, I'm not too sure, there's a lot of spiky bits with um, you know, like little nubs on them that help dig through. And then the last one, this guy with two kind of point, but remember, I should have a look. Each miniature, ah, grinder face, doom flare gauntlets, shock gauntlets, warfire projectors, yeah, and wind launchers, that's the one I think, a wind launcher. Um, warp fire projectors. Shock gauntlets. I wonder if these could be the shock gauntlets. I'm not sure. And um, this guy, you have the shoulder pad on the other arm, which is pretty nice. And um, you have your scaven mark on. I think that's a new marking that I've read around. And um, again, you have a lot of the pipes come through, pumping a lot of power through it. And um, massive uh lumps of warp stone it looks like they're really going to really pumping out the warp stone effects with these guys and uh that's it comes in three sprues which i'd imagine yeah there's a body on each one you can see it there you see a body there yeah there's a lot in this i'd imagine there's going to be a lot of bits left over and um, i like these a lot of guys are a bit iffy you know they look like specimen centurions uh, and I suppose if you do put them next to a lot of the scale and stuff, they would kind of stick out a little bit. Like you have your doom on like uh, your doom wheel, which is kind of pretty out there as well. That's the kind of the only thing I can think of that might be a bit. apart from the hell pit abomination. That's but that's more flesh looking than you know a lot of iron on it. So um, I like them. I think they're really nice. They're coming in at fifty euro. Um, you know, it's a it's a little bit pricey, but in my opinion, you're getting three fantastic models, and you're going to get a lot of bits by the looks of it. You're gonna have a, um, you're gonna have a lot of weapon parts left over. So I'd imagine if you're wanting to convert up some more, um, 
rad ogres from your island of blood kit or something like that you probably will be able to do these with the extra bits you're getting so so that's it for part one make sure to look out for part two which they'll all be going up at the same time uh, which will I'll go all over the Gracer and the Skaven Warlord because I didn't want to do one big video or ramble on too long so uh, let me know what you guys think of the Storm Fiends they're a hit in my opinion I like them um, they're, just, they're a little bit out there they're a little bit different which I like um, you know something like that like like something different trying to do an arm like that once in a while is kind of cool so um, let me know what you guys think make sure to leave a comment below and hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't and uh, thanks for watching and keep an eye out for part 2